This Torah class is brought to you by TorahAnytime.com. Okay, we're here at the Matseva of Rabbi Yonason Ibishitz. So I'm going to read to you the Nusuch of the Matseva. It says over here, Yiru Kaloiver. Anyone who passes by could see. Chorus Alalucha is what's inscribed on this tablet. Hoish Asher Ahmad Lenes, the man who stood as a great symbol, as a great banner of Ahoyo Kishoishan Pirachas. He was a blooming flower, blooming rose. The Shav El Afar Amareo Meish Nishchas Nasimu Alavavchem. The Matseva says, Place to your heart the Shuvu, the Sashuva. Return in repentance, Noitzacha, Tifla Rabbi Ba'ad Lelakea Ruchais. Nafsha Elov Yesoif. So to speak a few moments about Rav Yonison Ibishitz, the Rebbe Rav Yonison, who was born in 1690, was Nifter in 1764. Of course, he's the author of so many great all-time Svarim. He wrote the Kresi Uplesi on Yeridea, the Urim Batumim on Choshen Mishpat. I'll just say over briefly one uh, important idea that Rav Yonison Ibishitz writes in the Urim Batumim. You know, there's an issue in Halacha when you have Edim and you need to cross-examine the Edim. We ask the Edim a number of questions. For example, one of the questions that we ask the Edim is, Bekama Shah, what hour of the day, what hour of the day did uh, this transpire? And what's very interesting is, an hour, where does an hour come from? Is, a, is an hour a halachically recognized period of time? It would seem to be just a convention. You take the day and you divide it into 12 parts. And in fact, Rabbi Yonison Ibishit says there's no such thing as an hour. An hour has no significance to Allah. An hour is complete a matter of convention. And when we ask the Eid and the Eid Shah, it doesn't mean 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock. There's no such thing in Allah as 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock. The Eid Shah means before Chatzos or after Chatzos. This is one of the Chidushim Neflam of the Urim Batumim, which is uh, endorsed by the Arsameach himself. So it's interesting. Uh, of course, we know Rabbi Yonison Ibishit wrote a commentary on the Ramam, the Bani Yahuva. He wrote the classic work of Drush, Drush, the Yaros Devash, and he also wrote the Avas Yonason on the Haftoiras. So if you look in the bibliography on the various works that were written by Rabbi and Ibishitz, it says there are about 35 proper titles written by Rabbi and Ibishitz, but if that list were, were to be compiled today, it would probably have about double the amount of sarm that Rabbi Yonason wrote. But besides all of the classic works Rabbi Yonason wrote, in Kemat, every major library in the world, there are shiure notes, notes of Talmidim from the shir of Rabbi Yonis and Ibishitz, that um, in every library in the world today. Um, one would then suppose, somebody who, who has had such a tremendous literary output, he probably devoted himself exclusively to study. He probably sat in his Dalit Amo, surrounded by his books. But the truth is, nothing could be further from the truth. Rabbi Yonason Ibishitz was one of the most colorful personalities in Jewish history. He confronted missionaries, priests. He was involved in Jewish, um, Christian disputes. He was witty. He was personable. He had many friends. And the opposite, he was a very charismatic figure. So he's chief rabbi, master darshan, Rosh Hashiva par excellence for 50 years. And even by the account of his detractors, he taught more than 20,000 students in his lifetime, even by the account of those who criticized him. So Rav Yonasen was the premier Marbet's Torah in his time. If you were a Rav in Europe, you were a Talmud of Rav Yonasen Ibishitz, came out without exception. Rav Yonasen Ibishitz was the Marbet's Torah in his time. He was the son of Rav Nassim Nata, who was a Rav in the city of Ibishitz. That's why he's called Rav Yonison Ibishitz. His mother was the daughter of Rav Leib Tzins, not to be confused with uh, Rav Arya Leib Tzins that people are familiar with. He grew up as a Yasim. His father passed away at a young age, so he grew up by his uncle, Rav Lezar Levi Ittinge. He learned he was a town of the Panama Irais, Rav Meir Eisenstadt. And uh, his shver was Rabbi Yitzchak Shapiro, who Rabbi Yonason Ibishitz quotes as one of the Goine Oilam. He learned by his father-in-law for two years. He went, then he learned by his father-in-law's father. He returned to his father-in-law in Prague. He became the Darshan in Prague. And then when Rabbi, the Pnei Yeshua left Metz, Rabbi Yonason Ibishitz becomes the Rav in Metz in France. And ultimately, Rabbi Yonason Ibishitz becomes the Rav of Ehu, Altona, Hamburg, and Vansbeck. One of his great Talmidim was Reb Zarach Eidlitz. Reb Zarach Eidlitz was uh, also uh, on the Besden in Prague. And Reb Zarach Eidlitz writes that when Reb Yonason passed away, we need to mourn him not only as a, a Rebbe, 
not only as an Avbezin, but as the rabbi of Klal Yisrael. He had thousands of Talmidim. There was no one who knew Kabbalah like Rabbi Yannison Ibeshitz. And it says Rabbi Zorach Eidlitz, if we needed to choose one person to be the father of the generation, we would all choose Rabbi Yannison Ibeshitz. He produced many notable Talmidim. I want to read to you what Rav Naftali Hirsch uh, writes about Rabbi Yannison Ibeshitz and his, his practices during the Bein HaMetzarim. So Rav Naftali, Rav Naftali Hirsch writes as follows. There was never a man who was distressed and mourned the, the destruction of the Beis Hamikdash more than Rabbi Yonasan. Shemayim Yidun, heaven will testify. All of his tefillos, he was yore demois, like a river, a flowing river. He was mekoinein on the Beis Hamikdash hacharov al arichos hagolos. He says, dati yosef, from the day I met Rabbi Yonis and Ibishitz, his bainanti veraisi ech damaya tidma enoi betmidus bezaka gedoila umara al sukas tavar an I saw how Rabbi Yonis and Ibishitz consistently was yore demais over the korban, beis hamikdash, especially once Yud Zayin Batamas came. He would cry out, bekal mar, lekoinein, for the korban beis hamikdash. And he was Meshiv, many, many people, but Shuva, through his great Hesoyros, during the Yimei ha, the Bein HaMetzarim. He was tremendous Anav. He was Moas B'Tanuga Oil Mazah. During the weekdays, says his Talmud, we never saw him be Kaveh Suda. And even as he ate, he was, his mind was always probing Ion HaToyra. So this is some of the, the godless of Rabbi Yonis and Eibeshitz. It's interesting, Rabbi Yonasan Abishitz has a, quite a remarkable perosh in the Tferos Yonasan on the, the Dar HaMabal. What was the Kavanah of the Dar HaMabal? They were building this tower to go up to the Rabbi Shalom. So Rabbi Yonasan Abishitz says that they were trying to break through the atmosphere and create a rocket ship to reach outer space. In fact, the Mekubalim writes, Rabbi Yaakov Meir Shechta writes, that the Gematria of Apollo is the same as Haflaga which indicates that that again was the kavana of the Dar HaFloga. This is some of the Chidushim I'm going to tell you. Rav Yonasan uh, describes Rosh Hashanah is coming up, right? Tammuz, they say, Zmanei Tshuva Memash Meshinuban. Says the Rebbe Rav Yonasan, we know the first two days of Tishrei, Rosh Hashanah, Rosh Hashanah, Ar Yoyma Arich, that's one long day, and Halach, they're one long day. The question is, why, why are these two days the only two days on the calendar that we consider one long day? So, Yonis and Ibishit says, on the, based on the time of the Bel Yahu, each one of the Aser Sime Tshuva corresponds to one of the Aser Sadebrais. The first day of the year corresponds to Anoichi Hashem Lekecha. That's why we're Mamlech Hashem on the first day of Rosh Hashanah. We coronate Rebbe Hashem, we accept his Malchiyos. The second day of the year corresponds to Lo Yielacha Lehim Achirim. So it's interesting, says Rabbi Yonison. The second day of the year is Yom Tov Sheni Shal In the Golos, it says, someone who lives in the Golos is Kami She'en Lo Yaloi Katz, like you don't have a God. That's why the second day of Rosh Hashanah is Keneged Lo Yielcha. Since Anoichi and Lo Yielcha were said B'dibur Echad, therefore the first two days of Rosh Hashanah are considered Kiyoma Arichta, says Rabbi Yonison Abishetz. So in Gedalia is Keneged Lo Yisirtzach. Shabbos Shuvah is Keneged Zorchad HaMashav Zakat Shoy. And... Yom Kippur, which is a uh, tikkun for the whole year, is Keneged Leisachmai. This is some of the ideas of the Rabbi Yonison Ibishitz, the Rebbe Rabbi Yonison. So I'm going to say over one piece that my father taught me many years ago from the Yaris Devash. There's a famous kasha on the Megillah where when Achishverosh has a problem with his wife, who does he call? The Chachamim Yoideho Itim. And the Gemara says in Megillah, he called the Chachamim who knew how to be Ma'aber the Shana. In fact, Rabbi Yonisan, he has a problem with his wife, he should call a marriage counselor. Why is he calling Chachamim Yoyde Yitim who knew how to be Ma'aber the Shana? So it says Rabbi Yonisan Ibishitz, you have to make a Cheshben. The Cheshben is like this. The party started in the beginning of the year, Tishrei, because it's Bishnash Shaloy Shlomolchai, in the beginning of the third year of his reign. And the Malchai Umay Sa'olam begin their reign, Rosh Hashanah. The party lasted Shemayinu Mama Asiyam, 180 days. 180 days is six months. But we know the months are Malay Chaser, Malay Chaser, so we subtract three days. So we get, we're up to Gimel Nisan. But it was Yomim Rabim Shemayinu Ma'asyayim. So we have Yomim is two days, Rabim is three days, another five days. We're up to Ches, Ches Nisan. Now, in Shushan he made the party for seven days. And on the seventh day, on the seventh day he calls 
Vashti. Now we say in the Haggadah that who died the night of the Seder? Vashti's father, Belshazzar. So perhaps Vashti has a good excuse for not coming. Why? It's the yard site. The Persians commemorated the yard site. So maybe the reason why Vashti didn't come is she needed to celebrate the Yom of the Hilula. Aber, if it's an Ibriyar, if it's an Adar Sheni, so it's not the yard site, so she has no excuse not to come. That's why Achashur is called the Chachamim Yoide Ha'item. This is uh, the great, the, the great Darshan, Rosh Hashiva, Marbetz Torah, Rebbe of Kal Yisrael, Rabbi Anasin Ibeshitz, Zechusai, Yagin Aleinu Val Kal Yisrael. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.